We are back with Dr. Amen. Now, when I was at your office, you and I had a conversation because you actually study a lot of football players and their brain health, you know, after they come off the gridiron. Um, we were talking on this show yesterday about Aaron Hernandez and the possibility that CTE played a part in his life. Do you think CTE caused his anger issues and all the other issues that surrounded it? Well, certainly part of it. And CTE, um, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, is actually an autopsy diagnosis. You, you can't know until someone's dead. Well, I really like the living. Mm -hmm. And so the study we do, we've scanned over 300 NFL players, and 95% of them show evidence of trauma. Wow. Well, 80% of them get better if we put them on a rehabilitation program. So nobody knows that. Your brain can be better if you do the right things, multiple vitamin, fish oil, a brain boost that works in multiple ways. Plus, we taught them avoid this, do that. Yeah. And many of them we also put in a hyperbaric I chamber. I do have to ask you, though, because so many people, so many parents put their kids in sports young, tackle football, you know, and those kind of things, like, really young. And I guess working with these NFL players, a lot of them probably started at very young ages. Do you notice a difference of the people who started playing tackle football very, very young versus the people who started later? Yes. And the ones who started younger had more damage, right? I mean, it's just more hits to their head and ultimately it's not the number of concussions you have it's not the big hits that um, drive trauma it's the thousands of little hits mm. that in fact Joe Lewis the famous boxer from long ago said it's not the big hits that cause dementia it's the thousands of small little hits. hits and if you have yeah. a developing brain your brain is not finished developing until you're 25 why would you ever put it at risk for trauma and so, so what do you do if your son's like dying to play football well if question. he was dying to do cocaine would you like get him a dealer <laughs> like of course of course you wouldn't. <laughs> Get a close up on this man right here. Oh Get a close up on this man. So, so is there an age that you think is the safest to start if your, your son's extremely passionate about You mean cocaine or sport? football? <laughs> football, football. No, I'm just kidding. Football. Or football or boxing or any of those sports yeah, that you're going to be Absolutely not. Your brain is soft, about the consistency of soft butter. Your skull is really hard. And if we had a model, you'd see their sharp, bony ridges. Your brain mm. controls everything you do. So dance is great. Tennis is great. Table tennis is great. Even basketball and baseball are better because the point is not collision. Yes. The point of boxing is collision. Mm. And I got to scan Muhammad Ali's brain. I've scanned three world heavyweight wow. champions' brains. And he won most of his fights, yeah. but his brain was significantly oh damaged. Oh. We need to love our brains because when you love your brain, you love your life. I just, you know, I'm asking that selfishly because I've got a, um, a big football fan of a husband who and we have a son. So I just want to make sure he knows when we're starting that idea. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, check out Dr. Amen's book. It's called The End of Mental Illness. It's out March 3rd. Such interesting stuff. Thank I know. you so much. All right.